What is going on everybody? How are you this morning? Uh, welcome to Dylan Talks Tone. I've got an interesting question for you today. How do you choose your guitars? Like what is your decision-making paradigm for when you choose a guitar? Because I have a bit of a, not a problem, but I need to make a decision. So when I say uh, decision, making paradigm like how you decide to buy a guitar like what guitar you're going to buy uh first of all let's get budget out of it okay what i mean by that is most of you are going to say well i can only afford x guitar or y guitar or whatever so um or i only buy used or whatever i don't mean money i don't mean money what i mean is once you've established i'm going to spend x amount of dollars and i'm going to buy this guitar, whatever it is. Uh, how do you choose between two? How do you choose between three? How do you choose a brand? Is it brand loyalty? Any of those things, quality control, any of that stuff, why do you choose what you choose? Uh, there's no wrong answer here. Just put it in the comments and let me know. And I'm gonna kind of give you my decision-making paradigm because mine's a little different. It's a little weird because of what we do here at Dylan Talks Tone. I mean, if you look around, we got all kinds of stuff. You know, we got a Gibson over here, we got that Schecter, we got a $300 Ibanez, a couple of PRSs, we'll get to those in a minute. And then we've got uh, this PRS that PRS sent me. We've got the Somnium with the Quico Changeo pickups, uh, Les Paul uh, Slash guitar. And then if you go in here, there's literally stacks and stacks of cases. There's a couple of acoustics. I mean, it's just, there's all kinds of stuff. We have all kinds of stuff. Oh, there's more. Of course, we've got the McPherson Sable. We've got the Gibson with the G hole in the side. We've got the close carbon fiber travel guitar. So for me, it very quickly uh, becomes a problem to have too many guitars. I know that sounds crazy. Most people are like, you can't have too many guitars. Well, we live in a two bedroom apartment and um, that's basically how it works, we choose travel over living space. So I have to make sacrifices when it comes to that. We run out of room. Once we hit about 15 guitars or so, I'm just kind of out of room, which sounds excessive. But this leads me to where my decision-making paradigm is a little bit different. You see, this guitar, and 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 this guitar, all those guitars were purchased, acquired, somehow for the purpose of making content for the channel. They weren't necessarily guitars that I was like personally connected with. What guitars do I want for myself? Not for the channel, not for projects, not for swapping pickups and doing videos, but when I have a guitar that I wanna keep forever, or you know, we all say that, they all come and go. Uh, what is the decision-making paradigm for me? There's a couple of things. One is, I want it to look cool. I want to be drawn to it like superficially because I think that's part of the thing. And then I want it to be uh, something that I really enjoy playing. And I also want it to fill a need sonically so that I have this guitar to do this, this guitar to do this. I don't need one guitar to do everything I would like to have because uh, I want to have different flavors. So that leads me to all of this that we just talked about leads me to this PRS situation. I currently own these two guitars, the PRS Silver Sky in whatever the Desert Rose color is. I think it's beautiful. And then I have this PRS Fiore uh, in whatever this lapis blue, or I don't remember what they call it. Anyway, I'm getting my colors mixed up. But those guitars, to all intent, for all intents and purposes, for a lot of people, seem very similar. They're like S-style guitars and just done differently. Is the Fiore just single, single hum version of a Silver Sky? So that's what we're going to get into today. And we're going to decide which one I'm going to keep. Because honestly, I really only need one. All right, let's go ahead and start with the PRS Silver Sky. Uh, very polarizing guitar because of what it is, but let me tell you what. Uh, this is my first PRS I've ever owned, actually, and I really, really, really love this guitar a lot. Uh, so, 
it is obviously an S style guitar, but when you, by looking at it, but when you play it, it just doesn't play like a Strat at all. It just feels so different and it's just so cool. Uh, seven and a quarter radius, kind of medium sized frets. Uh, the biggest difference between this guitar and the blue guitar is the neck is hugely chunky. Um, this has a like a 63, 64 Strat kind of neck profile to it. It's a lot bigger than the other one, uh, which it took me a while to get used to, but I really, really enjoy it. Uh, as far as the setup goes, I'm not a, I'm not a super particular about fretboard radiuses. I'll play whatever. I don't really care. I think everybody should be able to play whatever fretboard radius. Um, so while it might take you a couple of afternoons to get used to, it really is nice. Once I played it for a couple of weeks, I really enjoyed this uh, fretboard radius. The thing sounds incredible. Clean. I really love the clean tones that come out of this guitar. I like the fact that it has the uh, tone knob separate for the bridge pickup. Even though I'm not really a bridge pickup on a Strat guy, that's one way. If they get pickups, the pickups could be better, I suppose. We'll get into that in a minute. I love the fit and finish. I love how they did this on the backside with no, you know, cover, like that sort of thing. Uh, the weight is good. I think it's right at seven pounds. I, I really, really love this guitar. I actually really like the peg head. I like the, I know that's controversial, but I like it a lot. I think it's cool. This is a really, really awesome, amazing, amazing, amazing guitar. There's really nothing bad to say about it. However, everything has its downsides. So let's talk about a couple of things I don't like about this guitar. I don't like that for $2,700 or whatever these things cost now, uh, it has these cheap plastic tuning keys on it uh, in comparison to the Fiore that has the normal kind of nice tuning keys that you would normally have. I don't like the pickups. When you play it dirty or on the edge of breakup, I just don't like how they sound. I don't like, I just don't like them. I can't put my finger on it exactly. I don't like what they do in conjunction with the amp. And I've tried bunches of different amps. Um, and I just don't really like the pickups when they're dirty. I like them when they're clean. They're phenomenal. They do the clean strat thing, but they just, when you play dirty, especially edge of breakup stuff, which is where I like to live and a little bit above that, it's just tough. I just don't like it. is f flat because that's how John Mayer likes it. I like a floating tremolo. So those are a couple of things I don't like about the guitar. The pickups just never really, for a do-it-all guitar, I never really bonded with them. I should do a video with this guitar with our Silver Sky pickups in it because we have a set of Silver Sky pickups that fix that problem. I can't really think of anything else that I don't like. When I was shooting the B-roll for this yesterday, maybe I was thinking of something, but I can't think of it now. I also, strat body wise kind of guy 
don't like a football jack. I would rather not have a football jack because I just don't like how it goes inside the guitar. I'd rather have it in the side. But those are, those are really it. So I would like a floating tremolo. I would like a jack in the side. I would like tuners that are not crappy feeling. And I would also like pickups that I really, really like. I would say a little bit smaller on the neck and a little bit flatter on the radius. This is the PRS Mark Letary Fiore. Now, it looks the same, just a single, single hum guitar, but it's actually a single, single hum version of a Silver Sky, but it's actually really, really different. Um, the neck profile is smaller. It feels faster. Uh, I wouldn't say wizard. I think it's a 10 inch radius. It just goes to show you how much overall I don't really care, but it is a little nicer being a little flatter. I really like the little bit smaller neck. I just feel ultimately more comfortable on it. Some of you have even noticed it in the comments. They're like, oh, you're just really comfortable on that guitar. And that is really true. I really am comfortable on this guitar. It has proper tuning keys that aren't plastic and they feel nice, which is pretty cool. You can put those regular tuning keys on that other guitar if you wanted to. No football jack, so it's got the jack on the side. Single Single Hum is probably my number one favorite pickup combination on any guitar ever, besides like a single pickup P90 Junior sort of thing. Those two are probably my favorite. This guitar sounds phenomenal. These pickups are lower output than the ones that are on the Silver Sky. They are, to me, an incredible clean, but they also are more versatile in more tonal situations, in my opinion. Now, that is obviously very subjective, and I know that a lot of people will have amp and pedal combinations with the Silver Sky that they love. If you do, please put it in the comments and let me know. Um, because again, I love that guitar. It's just this one to me is a little bit more versatile for what I use it for. I hardly ever play totally clean. And let's be honest with ourselves. Most people don't. Also having a humbucker in the bridge is really, really cool. Uh, this guitar has a push pull that gives you the uh, parallel. It's not coil split, so it's parallel, which sounds pretty cool. <laughs> And then this push pull is for putting these two pickups on at the same time. So you get the neck pickup and the bridge pickup at the same time. <laughs> body shape is a little bit different. The contours are a little bit different. So it fits you a little bit different. The balance is a little bit different. 
and of course how it feels in the hand is a little bit different. Obviously you can also notice that it is a maple fretboard instead of a rosewood fretboard. I love these inlays that are the birds without the centers. It's like outlines of the birds, which is really, really cool. You can also notice that the nut on this guitar is different. It doesn't have the normal fender style nut. It has a PRS style nut on the end of the neck instead of the fender style one that goes in the groove uh, on the other guitar. So definitely different. Also the peg head is flipped around the other way. Uh, this is the normal PRS way. I think the, the John Mayer one is backwards. Uh, it also has a two post trim instead of a six screw trim. And it is also set up floating from the factory, uh, which is really cool. Now we can float a Strat trim uh, that's decked just like what's on the, S the SS, but this is already done. The other thing is the tremolo arm is actually longer and it's got a stainless or something, some kind of metal steel uh, bar tip on it that gives you a little bit, it's almost like a counterweight. It has a weight to it that's really kind of nice. And the fact that it's longer, this complements the way I use a tremolo, which is more sort of, I use it more like a Bigsby than a normal like whammy bar 80s kind of. I use it as more like a Bigsby. So I really, really like that. Also, these pickups are very interesting that they're totally different. They don't have the ears on them. See how they're straight across? Uh, same thing with a humbucker because it's got these little tabs instead of regular humbucker tabs. So the pickups are a little bit different. I absolutely love this guitar. It is phenomenally good, like real good. I guess there's something you don't like about every guitar. So I will tell you what I don't like about this guitar. I kind of wish it was rosewood just because I like rosewood fretboards. When it comes to actually playing the guitar though, I don't really care. It feels great, it sounds great. Oh, the other thing that I like about this guitar is that it's a urethane satin finish on the fretboard, on the back of the neck. The other guitar has a lacquer finished neck and my hands don't like lacquer very much. So I really, really like this finish on this neck better than on the Silver Sky. Things I don't like about this guitar. Hmm. On my particular guitar, the scarf joint is really, really visible, which I don't really care, but I have to get this picky. That's how much I like this guitar. The other thing is I wish, and we've talked about this before, that on cheaper guitars, they will put the control cavities on top of the body instead of routing it in to save CNC time. This is a $2,700 guitar. I wish they would have routed this body cavity plates into the body and make it flush like a pro, because it's proper PRS money. It should be proper PRS. This should be routed in and flush. Also, if it was me designing this guitar, and I'm not Mark Letary, but if it was me, I would, because remember this is a signature guitar, I would not have a back plate and I would have it nice and cool looking like the Silver Sky. Those are really superficial things to me. If I could only own one guitar in the entire world, it's sort of weird. It's like a self-imposed thing to say, uh, you can only keep one because I suppose I could keep both if I wanted to. But in order to move the channel ahead and open up some capital and some space for some other guitar for the channel, why would I have two that are fills the same need, but one fills it better? I'm going to sell the Silver Sky. And I hate to say that because I really, really love this guitar. And of course, everybody's gonna get in the comments and be like, oh, I knew it, you weren't gonna keep it because blah, blah, blah. No, I really love this thing. And I will have another one again in the future, I promise. Uh, probably when they come out with another cool color, I'll probably end up ordering another one. I really love this guitar a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, we've got a couple more videos with this guitar. I should say that it's sold already. Um, by the time I even got this far with this video, that this guitar is actually already sold. Somebody hit me up the other night and they bought it, but they want to put different pickups in it. So we're going to put our Silver Sky pickups in it and I'm going to do that video as well before this thing leaves, leaves the house. So there you go. I'm keeping the Fiore. Those of you that know me and have been around this channel for a long time probably already knew that, but there you go. Do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button and the like button. Do all the things that YouTube watcher folks do. I really appreciate you. If you want to know more about these guitars, I'll leave links to them in the description, as well as the amps and some of the other stuff that we used in this video today. So that you can check that stuff out. When you use those links, it does help out the channel. So I do appreciate it. Uh, I guess we will see you Monday.